ever stop to realize, you folks sitting out there, what a world of effort and daring goes into the job of bringing interesting and thrilling news events to the screen for you. The gathering and handling of news pictures is a vast undertaking. Millions of dollars are spent getting remarkable scenes from all over the world and in editing and rushing them to the screen. Outstanding and speedy work is made possible only by a complex organization of experts similar to the setup a modern metropolitan newspaper with its far-flung news gathering agencies, its telegraphic network, and its huge printing plant. And when it comes to daring, exciting work, there's nothing that can equal the job of a newsreel cameraman. They're a great bunch, ready for anything at any time, ready to undergo any hardship, ready to risk life and limb if need be, to get the world's greatest thrills for newsreel audiences. It's a great game, and I'm proud to be in it. The eye of the newsreel camera. Here's one of the universal newsreel units. You're going to see how they work and the dangers they face, and you're going to get the thrill of your life, believe you me. Oh, there's a big fire down on the waterfront. No sooner does the alarm bell ring at fire headquarters than newspaper and newsreel offices get on the job. Cameramen and reporters dash to the scene. Here we go, right with the firefighters. There's no time to lose. A newsreel plane is waiting. To the average cameraman, hopping a plane is as commonplace as taking a taxi. On the ground, in the air, and from the water, cameramen take desperate chances to get outstanding pictures of the burning buildings. Then it's rush, rush, rush to get the films to the laboratory, where experts are waiting to develop the negative, inspect it, and select its outstanding parts to be edited into a comprehensive film story of the conflagration. Speed, high speed, is essential, but nothing can be permitted to go wrong. The stake is too great. Even while giant newspaper presses are pounding out the story of the Holocaust, the film story of the fire is rapidly being prepared for the screen. Prints for the theaters are ready, and it's hurry, hurry to deliver them so the newsreel can be shown to the public while the fire is still smoldering and while newspapers are still featuring the disaster in headlines and in extras. Whatever the danger, whatever the trouble, whatever the cost, the public must be served. And here it is, already on the screen. One of the worst here that ever experienced is raging along the waterfront. Apparatus from all parts of the city and a large fleet of fireboats have worked for hours to quench it. The damage has already reached two million dollars. War news is big news. Wherever there's armed conflict, there you'll find a cameraman. The Far East is aflame. Warships hurry to Asiatic waters and the newsreel cameramen go along. The World War saw countless examples of heroism by these knights of the tripod. They staked their lives to get a film record of those hectic days. Now it's war in the east. Soon the cameraman will be in Manchuria, right in the front line trenches under shot and shell.
far off Africa, a cameraman braves a plague of locusts, cranking away as millions of these devouring insects sweep by and around him who may see and appreciate fully the terrifying immensity of this dreaded scourge of the ancients, a scourge that is just as fearful today as it was in Bible times. I tell you, it takes nerve to stand up and grind away at a time like this with hungry locusts crawling on your hands and face and down your neck. Or to film such a cataclysmic scene as this, hundreds of heavy blasts of earthquake intensity, not knowing when your insecure perch may be jarred loose and drop you into it. Whenever nature wrecks her vengeance on mankind, the cameraman must hurry to the spot. Whether it be an earthquake, a storm, or a flood, his place is in the middle of it, where the all-seeing eye of his camera can record the actual happenings for you and for posterity. Whatever the conditions, the newsreel man's job is to wade in and take pictures. Discomfort, difficulties, danger, those words are not in his vocabulary. Breaking loose down the... No time can be lost. Here they go, into unknown dangers, an adventure fraught with peril, a rendezvous with death. Flood or storm or hurricane, pictures must be taken. a daredevil performing feats of nerve or skill, defying death in its countless guises for gain or fame or thrill, there you'll always find a cameraman risking his life also, pitting his nerve against destruction too, in order that you may sit comfortably in your seat there and be thrilled by the deeds of others. to do this, you never can tell when a lion will decide to go native. An unruly beast usually means mangled arms or legs, sometimes fatal injuries. Imagine being in that cameraman's shoes. Look, a big loft building fire. They're trapped on the upper floors. Oh, she jumped. Eight floors up and not a chance. Here's another fire. The heat is intense. It's a big granary going up. Better get out of there. She's coming down. Go over. 
dangerous curve. And around they come, and he's gone. comes the thrill of thrills, a head-on collision of two speeding locomotives. Look out! Watch it! And now the famous bone breaker, the Grand National. They're off! There's not a jump that doesn't take its toll of hapless horses and riders. Oh! And another one. in a dizzy, sickening tumble before pulling the ring. If you haven't nerve enough to jump, the wind will snatch you off. Oh! There's one that hasn't opened right. He's a goner, sure. Falling fast. Oh! There it is. He's okay. It looked bad for a minute, though. It looks easy when you see them floating down so peacefully. It's getting started that's tough. Asker had to bail out. Here's one of the most astounding sights you ever saw. A great warship, torpedoed and turning turtle. The most appalling and graphic scene of wholesale and sudden death ever recorded by a motion picture camera. What a scene, what a tragedy. War in the air. Death and destruction from the sky are no less terrible. Refueling in the air is dangerous business. Anything may happen. What? Something's gone wrong. The big plane's on fire. They're jumping. There they go in the parachute. The plane's in a thousand pieces crashing into the sea. But the pilot's safe. He'll be picked up all right. Phew! What a smash-up! Look at this. The Navy airship Akron's on a rampage. They can't get her down. She's yanking her ground crew around. She's pulling some of them off their feet. Look! Oh! Oh! The Akron, ill star daughter of disaster. Here we are. It's Speed Holman, famous air acrobat, stunting over the heads of the crowd. Oh! He's in a spin. But he'll get out of it. He always does. in aviation, glider flying. This one's being towed by an automobile. It's just like flying, only it's supposed to be safer. Up he goes just like a big kite as the car gets up speed. Well, it's a little rough up there today. What? Look out! Oh! And still the cry is for more speed. New speed records. Low bales, American flying ace is out to do 300 miles an hour. Think of it, five miles a minute, and there he goes. And a, and a the worst air 
rare crash in history. Just at the wheel, speed demons out to thrill the crowd. Oh! Another one on the fence. Oh, there's danger. He got him. He's all right, though. The public must be thrilled. 